USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory Another earthquake rocks the volcano's peak rich with focused activity in the two south and southeast caldera clusters. Caldera seismicity also increased slightly in the upper part of the drift zone and southwest drift zone. Scientists report no unusual activity recorded along the middle and lower portions of the East Killer Rift Zone in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park alone. The closure of the Moniru due to volcanic earthquake disturbances in the Kilis Peak area experienced a slight increase compared to the previous few days after several days of low earthquake study activities which focused on two groups in the south and southeast of Kailat. Most of the Punkak Volcano Caldera experienced earthquakes with magnitudes below M20, but there were several earthquakes that occurred in the M20-M30 range where the seismicity had not reached previous levels. The recent Semite eruption at the Kilauea Peak slope gauge located to the northwest of the caldera has not recorded a significant change in slope since midday yesterday, when there was still small, short-term inflation at the butte Pazir slope gauge located to the west. Southwest from the caldera, In recent times the slope of the caldera has begun to decline towards the northwest, this is an indication of inflation in the south of the caldera and is a general signal seen in October and November, the peak of the Kilia is still at a high level inflation the relative slope above the ground surface was reached before the final eruption occurred in September. In 2023, the level of sulfur dioxide gas emissions in the field will still be low. Measurements show a sulfur dioxide gas emission rate of around 7 per day, similar to measurements in October and November. Currently there are no signs of an eruption but the peak area is still unstable with high inflation rates and previous peak seismic activity. The eruption was characterized by a powerful earthquake caused by the erection of embankments before the lava emerged and this earthquake has not been detected, scientists continue to confirm it. Volcanic unrest may continue to increase and when along with the fluctuations of the madman's entry into the region and their eruptive activity may occur in the near future without any warning at all.